For several decades, the US military has been known as the most powerful military force in the world. It has carried out several successful military operations in distant corners of the world and American military officers have a reputation of being great strategists. But this is changing. Biden's wokeism is destroying the US military. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Tejasvi Malhotra. Let's begin. What should a military academy do? You will say it's a dumb question. Everyone knows what a military academy should do. Create a rigorous training schedule and inculcate strategy making skills amongst the cadets. However, under Biden's watch, the American military is being given lessons in vocism. Cadets, soldiers and officers are being made to undergo critical race theory lessons, mandatory gender pronouns training and socialism lectures. In fact, Rip Matt Gates tore into Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin on Tuesday for pushing wokeism and socialism in the military while making blown calls. During a congressional hearing about the Defense Department budget, Gates grilled Austin regarding the mismanagement of the US military. Gates asked, I guess I'm wondering what in the $773 billion that you are requesting today is going to help you make assessments that are accurate in the face of so many blown calls? The Florida Republican said that the US was behind on hypersonic weapons. Now this is something that is very well known. Yet Austin shot back by asking, what do you mean we are behind in hypersonics? He added, how do you make that assessment? In reply, Gates pointed out that China and North Korea were testing hypersonic weapons and other technologies that are still in the development stage in the US. Gates said, and so while everyone else is in the world seems to be developing capabilities and being more strategic, we got time to embrace critical race theory at West Point, embrace socialism at the National Defense University to do mandatory pronoun training. He then pointed out that how the Biden administration made two miscalculations, first in Afghanistan and then in Ukraine. The Congress representative said, and maybe we would be better at them if the National Defense University worked a little more on strategy and a little less on wokeism. In fact, the US military is facing an institutional crisis due to the manner in which wokeism is being pushed down the throats of US military officers and soldiers. Take the case of West Point. Critical race theory is being taught to US military academy cadets. And it doesn't really make a lot of sense. It is all right if you imbibe critical race theory in activists. But you simply cannot teach this theory to US military cadets. It is a part of the far left agenda that dismisses civilian institutions as misogynist, colonialist and racist. Now, if you want such indoctrination for far left activists, it is fine. But why serve such a narrative to young cadets who are going to lead the American military in the future? So US soldiers are being made to read the critical race theory. What next? Well, socialism and gender identity. Yes. The National Defense University actually hosted an event to defeat China by ending its arrogance and promoting democratic socialism. NDU held a speaker session titled Responding to China, the Case for Global Justice and Democratic Socialism. In line with Democratic Party's democratic socialism ideology, the description of the NDU event stated, in this talk, Mr. Piketty will argue that the right answer lies in ending Western arrogance and promoting a new emancipatory and egalitarian horizon on a global scale. A new form of democratic and participatory ecological and post-colonial socialism. And yes, the US military is also prioritizing woke gender identity campaign over strategic studies in the US military. The US Army has been rooting for a mandatory training program for serving soldiers on gender pronouns. A report by Washington Free Bacon even detailed an official presentation on policy on the military service of transgender persons and persons with gender dysphoria. The presentation was given to military officers along with coaching material on how to train their subordinates. 
and then Biden is also pushing ahead with his vaccine agenda. The US Army has been discharging soldiers who refused the COVID vaccine even though the efficacy of American vaccines remains doubtful. US military faces several challenges in the form of North Korea, Russia and China. However, Biden is training US soldiers in woke agenda instead of keeping them combat ready.